Bergen, Norway. A very interesting city in a very special location. Join me as I explore all the best sights the city has to offer on foot. Breaking through the clouds reveals the rugged landscape that makes Norway so special, as well as the city of Bergen. Viderou is the name of the airline. Near Bergen's airport is a Scandic hotel, and surrounding it is typical Norwegian countryside. In the summertime, the verdant greenery is simply amazing to a desert dweller like me. I love walking around in Norway. It is a civilized country where everything just works. This is not quite true for a large portion of the world. Everything looks safe and clean and well maintained. Even the graffiti of this place is well mannered, although I could not figure out what this was supposed to be. But we are to explore the city, so using liminal spaces inside hotels and video editing magic, we are now in the center of Bergen, ready to explore the city proper. Norwegians place a high value on quality of life, in which aesthetics of the living spaces play a large role. All through the city of Bergen, beautiful parks are to be seen. Large parts of Bergen is exclusively made for walking, even though space in this rugged country is at an absolute premium. The large areas set aside for parks and walkways show where their priorities lie. This is such a wonderful feature that it certainly captured my attention. Apart from the parks and walkways, art pieces dot the landscape, further enhancing the beautiful aesthetics of Bergen. The area surrounding the hotel is quite interesting too. There is a large area for people to just get together and hang out, surrounded by densely packed multi-level buildings. In the distance, up on a hill, is the St. John's Church. According to Wikipedia, there are 72 steps up. What a weird detail to put on a website. One detail that is different from my previous visits to this wonderful city are the electric scooters that are literally everywhere in the city. They come with so many questions. How and when are they charged? Are they free to use or do you need some sort of app? In any case, I really did not have anywhere to be and so still prefer walking. On the way to Bruggen is the fish market. There is quite the array of fish products here and you can even find some whale meat. Bruggen is a world heritage site. The buildings here are what remains after a fire in 1955 destroyed a large part of Bruggen. As the buildings are made of wood and standing close together one can see how fire could spread and cause devastation. The buildings now host tourist shops with curio and memorabilia. Bergen is the busiest port in Norway and quite a lot of cruise lines make a stop here. There are sightseeing boat rides available if you like to see a different perspective of the city. Up on the mountain, it's possible to get a nice overview of Bergen. 
it's a short walk to the base of the mountain with interesting sights along the way. On the way up, the most interesting feature are the trees. They are purposefully pruned in this way. The exact purpose of this style of pruning I am not sure of, but it does have a very distinct visual impact that I have seen in Asker as well. It strikes me as a little alien looking. With the increase in altitude, there are more panoramic views of Bergen. One can see how the houses are packed together and catch your breath at the same time. Even halfway up the mountain, at a serious incline and surrounded by actual nature, these guys still managed to fit in the public water feature. That feature was as high up as I wanted to go on this occasion. Further up there is a hiking trail through the woods, but I was more interested in walking the streets in the old part of town. I'm always curious about how various cultures change their environment for whatever reason, and what they do to make their mark, or just enjoy life more. Walking through the narrow streets there are splashes of colours and the occasional futuristic vehicle, all set against the ancient intricate paving of the streets. On nice weather days groups of tourists are learning about Bergen from their guides. The graffiti in Bergen is simply awesome and it seems to be a well tolerated activity. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little walk through Bergen and gained a new perspective of the city and of the Norwegian nation as well. Tourists are quite welcome to come and soak up the rich history ingrained into the streets and amazing sights that form the unique experience that is Bergen. Walk on foot through the city and take in the sights, sounds and atmosphere. So make some plans to travel and don't be left out.